that, right? And you find out that when you're dealing with marine phytoplankton, first it's the basis of the world's entire food chain. It is the meaning of food. It means food. It is food for all plants and animals on the whole planet. It is the very meaning of food. Second, that we now have a technology where we have huge bioreactors, two of them in Europe that we're working with, where they can purify ocean water so there's no industrial contaminants at all present and no other plankton present and grow one species of plankton. That's this one right here, Nanochloropsis. Out of 40,000, they thought, well, because of Jacques Cousteau, a bunch of scientists got together and said, well, you know, we should probably figure out which ones are the best for human consumption. And out of those, they narrowed it down to four, and then out of those four, they said, well, let's go with this one. So now we're down to that one, which is probably the basic form of life on the whole planet. It's a basic form of chlorophyll on the whole Earth. And that basic form of life contains something that, that our cells identify and know exactly what it is, but we cannot get it from any other food except the very basic forms of life on Earth. And that something is everything. Here's what it is. Did you know that when you eat food, you're actually like eating British pounds? That pun is intended. Convert it. Like you're eating a currency where your body goes, we don't even know what this is. It has to then convert it over to U.S. dollars to actually become energy. And that's the mitochondria. And that's the, the Krebs cycle. We've all heard of that if we study nutrition. We found out that actually when you digest food, your cells have to take in the raw proteins, has to take in the raw materials, the fats, oils, and carbohydrates, and convert them into energy packets, which is called ATP, ADP, AMP. These are all puns intended. GTP, GMP, pun intended, GDP, GOP, GOP, <laughs> pun not intended, no. uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so we have to actually convert over to that, so those are called nucleotides. We're going to simplify it and just call it all ATP, because that's just simple, because we probably remember ATP somewhere back in like ninth grade, somewhere college maybe, something that when you take in marine phytoplankton, your body goes, we know what that is, and it's instant energy within five minutes. It goes right through your skin, it goes right in your body, right there, five minutes, because it actually contains ATP. You don't have to digest it. It's already digested, and it's available right away. Here's what that looks like. It's called energy without stimulation. You eat food, any food, your blood sugar raises 30%. That, that's a lot. I mean, you know about that? Like, if you're driving along, you're like, <laughs> anybody ever done that? You eat anything, you're like, oh, I'm right awake. And then suddenly, uh, really? Like, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you eat something else, you're like, oh, wide awake again. <laughs> when you're wide awake like that, it's because your blood sugar got stimulated. You don't want to be there. You want to be in a place that we wanted from every drug. Energy, awareness, alertness, no stimulation, meaning no crash. Now, this was all figured out by a friend of mine, Dr. George Merkel. He's no longer on the planet. He got sick and tired of being beat up by those guys, whoever they are. They don't exist. It's all made up. If you know what I mean. I'm the son of two medical doctors. I know who they are. <laughs> Did you know that? I'm the son of two medical doctors. I was conceived in a medical school library, right next to the <laughs> Journal of Orthomolecular Medicine. The only journal that's not indexed by the boys. You know why? Because it has alternative medicine in it. So they don't even index it. The boys don't index it, if you know what I mean. And you probably know who the boys are. <laughs> so you're not even, the doctors aren't even allowed to know it. They check the indexes, the PubMed, it doesn't come up. Because it's not indexed. That's how, right? You got me on this one? Anyway, that's where I was conceived. I've been around those guys. I mean, my dad's like roast beef. It's like no, no tomato even, no lettuce. It's like just bread and roast beef and mayonnaise and then Gatorade. <laughs> Luckily, my dad's almost a breatharian actually. He doesn't know it, but there's a lot of people like that. He'd take one bite of a roast beef sandwich, one sip of Gatorade, he wouldn't eat for eight hours. He just has it. I, w I didn't get those jeans, but he got them. I'd be like really tripped out. I just 
he'd, he'd eat a couple things out of sandwich. You know, we'd be out to dinner and they'd be on the phone over at the payphone.